guys and welcome back. So, I've got a fashion video for you all today. And, oh, I just made the weirdest note for, noise in my throat. One second. Did you hear that? I never heard it. It was like a... <laughs> been loving for this time of year up until today when it's done nothing but piss it down all day it's been like quite nice weather those lovely cold crisp days and I've got myself into this routine of having a uniform of about five looks on heavy rotation where I really 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 am into what I like at the moment if that makes sense I'm like tunnel vision for the kind of looks I want to go for and I'm not really wavering from it so a lot of the pieces will be things you've seen before or things that I've shown you as they've arrived I've been sent and things like that um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk to you more properly and show you how I'm styling them. So, outfit number one, this is this is the laziest outfit that we have, but is my go-to for almost everything at the moment and then adding on different jackets. So I've got this jumper which is from Another Stories, which is hugely, hugely oversized. So I've literally just tucked in the very bottom of it. I know that tucking your jumper into your jeans can be a bit difficult because it makes you kind of look bulkier around your crotch and you can end up looking like you've got a willy which isn't ideal. So just sort of tuck the very end in and then it gives it a really good billowing shape which is really flattering. These jeans are new, I bought them in Paris, if you watched that video you've seen them. They're a super expensive denim purchase for me because normally I'm all about the high street denim and they're from a brand called System. I'm so glad I got them because they fit so so well. And then my favourite church is Brogues which you guys saw me buy a few weeks ago. I was wearing these lows and they got really comfortable and then something's happened and they've gotten really uncomfortable again which is so annoying so I've been wearing them a lot with socks, Uniqlo do the best socks, just hands down best socks ever and I've been wearing them loads of socks to try and break them in but they are proving a tad difficult although I'm persevering because I love how they look so yes this is the first outfit and like I said this has been like my daily go to at the moment maybe switching out the knit for something a little bit skinnier or a cashmere jumper if it's even colder than it has been today and swapping the denim out but since I got these ones I've been pretty much wearing them every single day it was pain, almost drive a man insane what we could find for to survive another day Yo, an old killer B once hummed me a tune. Stay up at night, don't sleep on your moon. Four C's in the bed, eight C's in the room. Afternoon cartoon, we would fight for the spoon. A loaf in the kitchen, yell it's time to eat. Across the floor, you hear a dozen stampede and feet. One pound box of sugar and a stick of margin. A hot pot of grits kept my family from starving. Loose with the welfare cheese, thick with the gravy, used to suck it straight off the bottle as a baby. So I'm definitely been really hard. into androgynous outfits, which is always the case for me, but even more so recently. And I think I'm going to struggle to put into words a kind of vibe that I've been wanting to go for, but super minimal, really just big tailoring, amazing knitwear, lots of oversized pieces that are also really flattering at the same time, and lots of manly footwear, so the Celine loafers which I got resold and it's made them feel and look completely like new and I couldn't be happier because I walked in them so much that there was a hole in the bottom of them and I was really worried that they were done for and they weren't going to be able to be repaired but they did the best job so they're feeling like new and I've been wearing them loads of just while it's still warm enough to wear them basically. Um, also been trying to swap out jeans where possible 
just to mix things up a little bit you guys know how much I can rely on my denim so I've been wearing these chinos not something I ever thought I would say that I'm wearing chinos um, but they're from Jigsaw and they're really comfortable and they have a bit more stretch in the waistband which is great if you're going for dinner obviously um, and then I'm filming a testing basics for cashmere at the moment so this is one of the jumpers in that this is the Marks and Spencers one I've been wearing loads of that crew neck jumpers like this at the moment and it's just kind of similar to the end of the stories one that I had on too but honestly I've been reaching for them every single day and then you might remember this jacket from the last testing basics as well the weekday really oversized one um, wool blazer which I just absolutely love the colour of and I'm finding it just makes a really autumnal colour palette super simple um, and looks great with skinnier trousers as well as straight leg like on the box on the stove in the kitchen when I was small we had nothing at all we used to eat green telling you that I'd be wearing chinos. I also never thought I'd be wearing leggings, but here we are. There's just the time for the unexpected, it seems. And um, I was getting more and more into skinnier leg jeans and slightly further away from straight leg ones. And now I just showed you a pair of straight leg ones. So that kind of doesn't make any sense. But I'm just trying to justify the fact that I pulled some leggings. That combined with how much I love Totem as a brand and their incredible Instagram account made me fall for these ones so they're totem leggings and they've got like a little zip at the bottom so they sit really well over boots and things like that and they're so thick this isn't like the leggings that maybe we all remember wearing when we were i don't know 17 18 you could see knickers through them i promise it's not that kind of a legging vibe they're really really thick they're really comfortable i've been wearing around the house quite a bit as well um, and I'm loving how they look with super oversized jackets. This is another one that was from the recent testing basics. This Ray one, which is kind of like an overshirt. I'm still obsessed with this so much and love how it looks with everything. And with a skinnier leg, basically. So not straight leg trouser, a skinnier leg trouser. It just has such a good shape and silhouette to it. So I've just got that on and then this, I'm still obsessed with cardigans, guys. It's still going strong. This one's from And of the Stories um, with the nice kind of creamy tortoiseshelly buttons which is a really nice detail um, I've just been wearing this one mostly um, either over a white t-shirt and undone or like this where it's just with a t-shirt and it's quite a low v-neck um, and then my boots of choice at the moment are either my church's ones which you'll probably remember from last winter or these ones from Dear Francis these are the gem boots and they are so 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 comfortable um, and they've got a little bit more of a heel than the church's ones which I quite like and just love how the leggings looked over the boots unzipped just a nice little detail that makes it a bit more exciting. Packing bags at the neighborhood associate. Growing up, not as fortunate to have a fly shit. I'm too young. No jobs to hire me legit. You walking down the street with your gun in your hand. Drinking, thinking of a master plan. Your old earth can't afford what your friends got. So you roll up to the spot with your thing on cock. And it seemed worth the taking. Stomach aching. Morning star veggie bacon go good with the grits. Now let's take it back for real. When we used to build a ghetto big wheels with the shopping cart wheels and wood to nail the seat on. Girls skipping rope in the streets. The summer heat left the jelly prints stuck to their feet. Skelly cheap flip you baseball cards for keeps. So this outfit is very similar to one that I wore in Paris last weekend and it's one of my favorite outfits of recent. Again, no denim. We've done three looks without denim here. I feel like I need some sort of recognition for that one. Um, these pants. I found at Bista Village through the week, they're from Chloe, so really annoyingly I can't link them for you guys because they were, Bista Village is like a big discount designer place, so everything's sort of a one-off find, but they were like my dream trousers when I tried them on, they fit perfectly, if not a little bit too tight, so if I'm honest, but I love the cut of them, the length of them, I've got them turned up here, but they look amazingly worn long with heels as well, but for day-to-day I've been wearing them with trainers most of the time, so I've just got on my Vans old school here. Um, but yeah, I love how high waist they are and they've got like amazing pockets on the bum and everything like that. Just the best detailing that makes them feel really luxurious. So I've just got on, this is a really old top top belt. I really need to get a new one now because it's looking a bit tired. But just a black leather belt. Um, and then a t-shirt underneath my jumper. The t-shirt's just from Under the Stories. I've been wearing this specific t-shirt a lot under jumpers at the moment because it's really high and tight on the neck. 
So you can still wear a crew neck, but see that you've got something underneath it as well. And then this is yet another crew neck cashmere jumper. I really told you that I'm into what I'm into at the moment. And there's a strong theme throughout. Uh, this one's a Uniqlo one. I really like the dark charcoal colour. And then to tie in the little bit of white showing here, I've got white socks on, which are probably not to everybody's taste. Um, and they only kind of peek out when I'm walking and you can't see them just when I'm stood still but I thought it tied everything together quite nicely. We had nothing at all. We used to eat grits for dinner. It once pain. Once you've made that transition and you start to really appreciate the comfort and the practicality of actually dressing appropriately for the weather, that's actually then done for until February. So I'm trying to be impractical for as long as possible and make the most of slightly more transitional looks. So this, apparently you're meant to take these off, these though where it says handmade, but I just want everyone to know my jacket's handmade, so I'm keeping it on for the time being until someone makes me take it off basically, which hopefully won't happen. I bought this in Paris as well, it's a vintage blazer from the Frankie shop. Um, just a wool blazer so it's actually really really nice and warm and I love the colour of it which made it unlike other blazers I had which I know it's hard to get your head around because you guys know how many blazers I have and I'm just layering it up with this overshirt which is from Amber the Stories which is also wool so I'm quite woolen and therefore quite warm right now and then the same white Amber the Stories t-shirt that I had on previously which I've just noticed has some sort of a pasta staying on it so I'm just kind of keeping this like this so no one else can see that. The jeans are actually also under the stories. They're really nice cropped in between a skinny and a straight leg. And then I just braid the church's brogues without socks on, which is something I am slowly but surely getting brave enough to do. Because as I said at the beginning, they're kind of not that comfortable yet. <laughs> oh. You can keep that in. Hello. You just ruined the shot. <laughs> Your phone rang in the middle of a video take. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so that is everything. That phone call timed it quite perfectly to end this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave the links for everything in the description box as always. Let me know which your favourite outfit has been out of all five, and I'll see you in the next video.